Arriving at his new office with a smile as Secretary of State for Scotland, Alistair Carmichael was greeted by the boss and will now lead the government's fight to keep the UK together in next year's independence referendum. He's replacing Michael Moore, who's been sacked from the Cabinet. I'm disappointed to be leaving office uh, right now, but I'm very pleased at what I've been able to achieve in the last couple of years, particularly in the constitutional debate with the Scotland Act and the Edinburgh Agreement. But this big decision that we're taking as a country is bigger than one individual, bigger than one party. Also leaving the government, the Cabinet Office Minister Chloe Smith, the Deputy Chief Whip John Randall and the Transport Minister Simon Burns. Chloe Smith was elected aged 27 and finds her ministerial career over aged just 31. This is entirely my decision. It's a very positive one for me because it allows me to focus on the things that are most important to me, which is my work for the constituency and work that I can do to also promote the cause of young people. The government is made up of 120 ministers. Before today, 24 were women. There are 21 cabinet ministers. Northern MPs and women are expected to do well in this shake-up. The Wirral MP Esther McVeigh has become employment minister. So MPs have been clutching their phones, trying to find out news as to whether or not they could soon be working here in Whitehall or no longer working here. What's guaranteed today is that some MPs will be disappointed, either because they've been fired or because they've been overlooked. That could mean that some of them are rather grouchy on the back benches. But on the whole, this is a shake-up of the government's B team, rather than the ministers we tend to see the most of. And so not everyone's riveted. Chris Mason, BBC News, at Westminster.